So here's what's really exciting. In a little bit, we're gonna go out to the new farm site. And I think today they're pouring the, what they call the stem walls on the base of the foundation. So we will have that farm ready, keys handed over to us, probably in the end of November. We'll try and get some plants into the ground before then if we can get our irrigation system running. This farm is five acres. It will have 18 80 foot by 80 foot irrigated plots. We'll use the irrigation in order to get things started and then we can do our dry land breeding. We're also adjacent to the WSU Arboretum. So we'll be able to have a display garden to show the public the use of native grasses or uh, perennial grasses in landscaping. In addition, the goal of the farm, so we're gonna learn how plants work, but we have to have a business model. And the business model is to develop new varieties of grasses that can then be licensed and grown by growers in Washington State. And so that would support the producers in Washington State with new varieties of grasses that are unique to this area, but could, that could be grown around the world. And so the goal is to raise two endowments. One of those endowments is for a distinguished endowed professorship, and that would be $3 million. That $3 million endowment pays off $120,000 a year. The other endowment is to name the farm. That is a $5 million ask. That pays off $200,000 a year. Between those two, we would have $320,000 to work on maintaining the farm and building and um, improving the farm infrastructure.